So, on, on Mother's Day 2012, Jada Pinkett Smith released what she called a, a Red Table Talk. And it was basically just a conversation that she had with her mother and her daughter. And, you know, they talked about life, they talked about relationship, they talked about family, just many things that kind of came up during this conversation. And one of the things that really kind of kind of stood out to me was when she was, she was telling the story of how she decided to start her acting career. And she basically went to her mom and was like, hey, I've got, I've got two choices. I can either take this scholarship and acceptance to this Ivy League school, or we can go to LA and I can try out acting. And her mother was like, well, I guess we're moving to LA. And she, she went on to, to say how she appreciated the fact that, that her mother never, she never got in the way of her being. But unfortunately, there are far too many people who just can't say this because, because many parents are, are constantly getting in the way of who their children are or are trying to become. Now this could simply be the ignoring of different passions or desires of, of young children. You know, maybe you have a kid who's, who's really into drawing and very creative and a lot of parents will say, well, like, no, no we're not, you can't pursue that because there's, there's no money in that. Now this could also take the form of parents pushing their kids into different interests and endeavors just because this is what the parents want. Now this is where you have very young kids in, in beauty pageants or, or in football training from a very young age. See, what, what some adults fail to realize is that, is that what, what childhood and, and adolescence is all about is, is self-discovery, it's, it's creativity, it's, it's trying to understand one's place in the world. So, so when you try to, to take away that self-discovery by, by telling a child, like, no, this, this is what you're going to be. Or, or when you stifle their creativity for reasons of that it doesn't provide the benefits that, that you approve of, you are limiting everything that that child can be. Now, now this can also rear its ugly head in, in early adulthood. Because I've, I've come across individuals who are, who are in college, you know, they're, they're studying certain majors or school fields of study that they just do not care about and in some cases don't even like. However, were they to study or pursue the different things that, that they actually have interest and passions in, their parents would not support them. So the only way to, to get money to get support for their actual education is to do something they don't want to do. Now, now of course, parenting must happen and, and every child needs guidance. However, there's a, there's a very fine line between guiding and dictating. And it's, it's well worth the effort to find yourself on the right side of this line because your family life and your children's future life will work out so much better than you do. Hey, so if you like what you saw, let me know. If you really like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe so you can see more. Now, if you didn't like what you saw, let me know that too. And if you have any pointers on how I can do better, I'd be more than happy to hear. Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions of different topics you'd like me to talk about, that'd be cool, that'd be cool. And as I said, one of my goals is to start, or in some cases, continue a conversation regarding a lot of the things that I discuss on my channel. Let's do that, let's do that.